three, two, mic on. Sarawak Report became the first news website officially to be blocked here in Malaysia in 2015. Is back on now. You were warned for your own safety. You were placed on uh, police protection. How do you deal with your detractors who say that you, that you in fact have been much more provocateur than you've been a journalist? Oh, well, I, I have to say this has been a sensational story, <laughs> you know, um, and uh, I, I don't want to play it down. I think people needed to know how sensational it was, what was going on in Malaysia and how jaw dropping some of the corruption that I was exposing was. Because of this, I, I you know, I allowed myself the occasional exclamation mark just actually to try and, you know, remind people who had got used to um, something that they shouldn't be getting used to in terms of corruption in high places, that this was not acceptable, it shouldn't be acceptable. Looking back, that uh, the, the end result of what you started, are you surprised it's ended the way it's ended? To an extent I am, I'm delighted, but if I didn't think it was possible, I, you know, I probably wouldn't have embarked on it. I could see that you know, if you really held these people to account, if you did the work, frankly, and you got the information out to people, um, you could actually get things done. So, so that's why I did it. Your media was constrained, the international media was overlooking. Someone needed to do the job and I, I knew it would be a huge job. I felt it was worth doing and I feel you know, delighted that we've had this outcome. Thank you.